I know you're gonna ask people about games they're playing, but I'll just make sure, like, put a little bookmark in your ear right now. We got okay. to talk about Matt Kessler at some point during this. Podcast, oh God! Just because right. I have now you, am his coworker, and I have you make been sure. playing? Is Matt Kessler a video game? Have you have you been playing? I, I mean, I've Matt effectively Kessler? spent all day playing the game. It is Matt Kessler. We can come back to it in a different non. Hey, John Drake. Playing? Yeah, I heard you've been playing Matt Kessler Simulator 2014. <laughs> it is literally <laughs> Tell the me most it. surreal game I have ever played. It is like sweary made Matt Kessler. Wow. <laughs> he as a human being is basically a sweary real life experience. Okay. Now that you're getting the around the clock treatment. He, he he's a he, it's a waking nightmare. I think. <laughs> oh, I think it's a little that, harsh. I think the Adam boys hired me as like a third party verification source. Like <laughs> the guys are coming from the UN to like certify elections as like being voter fraud free. To be like the things this dude says are so crazy. I need someone from the outside world to come in and verify that I'm not losing my mind. And in fact, he is crazy. I feel he's a crazy person. Uh, so so like I I would say no fewer than like half a dozen people that I follow on Twitter that work at Sony at this point like yeah. tweet quotes out of context from him regularly. Regularly, like on a regular, almost daily basis. This he's point. like a soundbite machine. If the business that he represented, he was making soundbites for, was nightmares and confusion. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> like I am becoming familiar with people at Sony that I didn't know based on retweets of them quoting Matt Kessler. He in so he's not. I don't want to spend. I don't want to dive too much into his personal life because it's his business, and I only want to capitalize on it as much as it benefits me. How much he eats fruit is, yeah. is up to so him. So he doesn't eat fruit. Oh, I know that's at that all. This up. is like a thing that he's like never. So like he makes Dan Riker look like the phantom gourmet like mm. motherfucker eats everything compared to compared to kessler but he doesn't eat a lot of fruits and i i will not go into detail about him trying he's trying things now i think it's great uh but he he literally at some point adam was looking at me and then he was looking at kessler looking at me and he goes kessler have you ever had a raisin <laughs> and he's like maybe when i was like three years old i don't know maybe i've had a raisin i don't but not, not since then i don't think i had only one I, yeah like i don't think i liked it and he's like so you've never had a raisin and he goes well, I mean, other than in a cookie trap, but that's the only time. And I was like, I'm sorry. Did you just say <laughs> cookie trap? Like, that's like a common cause. Yeah, you know, it's like when they give you a cookie and you're like, oh, delicious cookie. And then you bite into it and you're like, ah, oh, there's fruit in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been tricked. And then for like an entire day, he was responding to everything I said with game respect game, no matter what it was. I would be like, yeah, I also, you know, I also had cereal when I was little and like had Cheerios without milk. And I think they're pretty tasty. I like Cheerios. And he goes, yeah, game respect game. And I was like, no, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no game does not respect game. You don't talk. Stop talking. But wow. he is. Uh, yeah, he's in. He's an amusing, but weirdly insightful and knowledgeable and kind of awesome person to have yeah. on the team. But yeah. also like the things he says for entertainment value alone are worth. Probably two times what him, I think they're paying him. Oh, you, you know. should you should try playing Dota with him sometime. I can, I can only imagine. It's it's he's hilarious. It's something else. It really yeah he really is. But he's like Dan Reichert if you took all the snark out and like any opinion about something that you thought was valid and just made it only polarized crazy opinions. <laughs> sure. But said with this certainty and and same like sort of like gut gut instinct that yeah. Dan has. Okay. Yeah. But he's never had fruit really. He's had like three fruits. He had he had oh god he ate a banana. Yes. He ate a banana and he was and he rep- apparently he was quoted as saying I ate it and then it was I didn't really chew it it was just sort of gone. <laughs> it was like eating a ghost. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that was recounted to me. <laughs> and I was like, what the <laughs> fuck does that mean? I heard uh, that story. And then I believe the last story I will tell, and I told him I was going to talk about it before I came on, so he should not be offended, or I don't believe so, at least. He doesn't report to me, so whatever. Uh, <laughs> is he's, They said he's going to try orange. He never had orange juice. So he's going to try orange juice for the first time. And someone said, oh, are you trying it with pulp? And he goes, what is this, fear factor? <laughs> I gotta meet this guy. Yeah, it's basically he's, like eating pureed cockroaches. You know, it's he's really incredible. No so he yeah. used to get sandwiches for people at Giant Bomb, and yeah, now he he's an account representative at Sony. Uh, you know, we gave him games. We gave him the best possible start. I think. You know, it's worked it's, out pretty well for him. It's obviously the natural career trajectory from sandwich pickup to <laughs> third party account management. Yeah, I, you know, that's, that's but he good. but he knows things about games that no one else. I mean, he it's really true. like is inside that system in a very special way. Very and true. All the time we spent like idiots eating fruit in our lives. Yep. He's just dedicated to learning about video. He games. was busy playing Persona or yeah, exactly, whatever or Dota. Hours and hours of Dota. Just wait till uh, just wait till I heard his his like massive presentations that happen. They're on, amazing. On, have you seen one? I've seen on the bits campus and there. I've heard one. I've heard great things about his his like video game school. I bring him up mostly because he's like a you know former affiliate of the site and yeah. like he's actually like a really friend of the site. sweet good dude. Well, friend is a strong word. <laughs> um, I think he's a person that you're aware of because uh, he's also crazy. Uh, so you want to keep him at arm's length because he might murder you in your sleep. No, I don't think he's capable. Uh, well, uh, I don't think he's capable. He's of violence. threatened. He's threatened your life a lot. Specifically, you. There's a lot of beef. I'm not sure he's ever eaten it's beef. But beef. 
It's we, one side of beef. We we need to talk later. Dota Dota life threatening. We, we should. Anyway, we, we should discuss this. That's all made air. up. But uh, Kessler's a good dude. So anyway, yeah. But he doesn't eat fruit, and he's weird as hell. And he sits down the hall from me and says crazy shit about Spider Man. Can you Spider-Man. hear it? Can you hear it drifting down the hall? Yes, I walk down there, and within five <laughs> minutes, I always walk away being like, "God damn it!" and just walking in the opposite <laughs> direction because he's fucking crazy. That's great. But he's amusing. So that's great. I'm yeah, glad, when I'm we, glad he works there. When we first went there, like a month after he would started, he was like, he was like quarantined, like on the other end <laughs> of the office. We don't like, let people talk because we were in the bullpen there, you know, where or the bullpen where yeah. like all those guys, all the the like third party the developer people are. Guys, yeah. yeah, and he wasn't there, and we were like, "Well, we want to see Kessler. We say hi to Kessler," and they're like, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we'll take you over there." And we walk like a good like ninety seconds to the other end of the floor, and there's like an area <laughs> where there are no desks are occupied except for him he with is, a laptop. He has moved into the center so, yeah. of things. So yeah, when I heard that he had been integrated into the group, I was like, "All right, he's moving on." It's up. a social experiment. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But yeah, he's uh I'm excited for him. He is single handedly makes work working at Sony worth it. Oh, that's every day wow. I go in and he says something and I go, Yep, that's this amazing. is the right place. This is the right amount of <laughs> like morning zoo <laughs> show that I want in my day. That's fantastic. Yeah, he's a good guy. I'm glad things are going well for everybody. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. <sighs> Drew. Yeah. Hello. 